Mark, bow out the FA Cup. What's your thoughts on the performance today? It's a disaster of an afternoon for us. Um, just shows you the momentary lapse in concentration. Um, at any level of football, it costs you. And uh, we've beaten ourselves today. We've contrived to give that game away. And um, it, it's very, very frustrating is an understatement. We're feeling numb at the moment. Um, this one hurts. We're going to have to lick our wounds. But they're, they're deep wounds after today. Um, because there's some schoolboy defending um, has cost us dearly. But look, full credit to, to you know you got to give full credit to them. They battled and fought and made it very difficult. We didn't show the quality that we needed to with the cutting edge. When you're on top and you're having large spells, you've got you've got to punish teams. We didn't punish we didn't punish them, and we left the back door open momentarily, probably two or three times during the game, which is too many times uh, when you're in ascendancy, when you're in domination of the ball. We've got to make sure we're locked out and organised, which we did 90% of the time, but that's not enough. And um, yeah, we've really um, we've hurt ourselves today. Looking at the starting eleven, obviously two changes made. Mo, Mikel come in. What's the thing behind that? Again, fr freshen it up. We've got a competitive squad. We're trying to look at everyone. And um, like I said, I felt that with Mo's. Um, aerial presence um, against them. They've got some big lads, set plays. We had to worry, you know, think about. They've got a long throw and set plays, and uh, also for us to try and open them up. You know, we're good on the the counter, with quick reactions, but you know, it's important. Goals change games, and they change the complexion of the game completely. And um, you know, when they defend in a the lead, they sit in and they make it difficult. And there was no space to go in behind them, which meant we played a lot around the front of them. When the pitch dries up a little bit, we weren't incisive enough. Uh, when we did put crosses in the box, we, you know, they were getting to them first. That's a mentality thing. That's a will to want to put your head in there and get in there and score a goal. Um, and again, we had chances at the start. We hit the bar. We put crosses in. We got to make them spells count. If you don't, it don't matter who you're playing, what level of football you are, you know, you can you can get caught, caught cold, and that's certainly the case today. Exactly, looking at the first goal, obviously this, this disappointed for a number of reasons. Obviously, it's just before the end of the first half and the penalty, it can be avoided. What's your take on it? Absolutely avoidable again. Um, lack of communication, lack of body shape, you know, we have to deal with situations better. And uh, that's up to me. You know, I've been here now three, four weeks. This is my group. And I've got to make them better. I've got to make them better quickly. Um, as I said, this, this one is a real, a real kick in the teeth for us. Um, but that, that's life, that's football. It's now it's a test of character now to see how we respond. Of course, you talk about responding. We did get back in the game through George Fowler's deflected effort, but again, we do so well to get back into the game and look to push on. But then eight minutes later, they go and score down the other end. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's a terrible goal for us to see. Uh, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here. Uh, you know, that is that's typical. That is completely schoolboy football from us. It's just such a shame because. We're doing things 70%, 80% of the time, but at, at this level and where we want to get to, you've got to do it 100% of the time. Your concentration, your focus, your awareness has to be razor sharp all the time, especially in, a, in any game, you know, especially the FA Cup Cup tie like we are. Um, and like I said, we got ourselves back in the game and then thrown it away as well. But look, full credit to Bowles and Pitsy. They, they battled and they fought and they, um, you know, they're, they're in the hat. Of course, you've done it as a player as a, with Eldershot Town. You know how important the FA Cup is, both for the fans and for the players as well. How gutting is it, obviously, looking ahead to the rest of the season now, will this result be? Yeah, like, standing here straight after the game is undescribable. It's numbing. It's, it, but we've got to use that as fuel for our fire now. Um, you know, we will assess. We'll be brutal on ourselves. We've been brutal on ourselves already. Um, we've got to want to get better the boys are showing the right attitude and mentality but we've also shown a real immaturity about our play today so you know we've got to, we've got to fix that very quickly and it's full attention on the league now Kins mentioned maturity as well a bit of immaturity shown today what can be done and what should be done to improve that and make sure it doesn't happen again well learn from the lessons that we learn um, you know we've, we've been punished today um, which could have been avoidable. So we've got to learn them listen lessons and learn them quickly. And um, your hardships make you stronger. This is certainly a big hardship for us, and we've got to, we've got to use that to get better. And we'll, we'll learn a lot about ourselves now. Um, but we've got to turn it. We've got to turn it around. And look, there could have been so many positives out there today if we dealt with certain situations better. And then in, it's it's important that we don't throw the baby out the bath just yet. We've we've got to make sure that yeah we're brutal and and fix things straight away. But at the same time, we've got to make sure that we, um, 
you know, get make, get better and get better quickly. Just a note on our fans today as well, who probably hasn't come to this ground before, and you know they came out in numbers today. Yeah, and we've, uh, you know, we've we've let them down. We know that. Um, I know how important this competition is to the football club. We prepared the best we can. We we gave it the utmost respect, and uh, we've been caught out today. And uh, like I said, we got to grow up quickly. And I apologise to the fans. And all we can do is uh, work harder this week and, and put it right as quick as we can. Look ahead to next week's game at home, back at the EVB against Bromley on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, like I said, lick our wounds, learn the lessons, work hard this week, get better. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe.